In today's episode of Skinia Truck Driving Simulator, join me as we take on the final set of our dangerous drives to complete that series. Let's go ahead, roll that intro, and jump right into it. Alright haulers, hello and welcome back to Skinia Truck Driving Simulator. So, it is our final episode of the Dangerous Drives series. Obviously, there's a couple other things that I've said. If you want to see me do them, leave me, let me know in the comments down below. And those are that there's a driving license scene where you have to do a bunch of tests. And there's also a competition. There's a Scania competition. I would probably be okay with doing the Scania competition, so if you want to see that, let me know. But the licensing stuff is kind of the same idea where you just have to park or do whatever in a certain amount of time. If you want to see that, like I said, let me know in the comments. But for today, we're going to take on our last seven dangerous drives, starting with Roadworks. So let's go ahead and jump right into that one. All right, so we need to make our way down through this construction site to get a piece of construction machinery to then take it back out with us. I'm not going to go super fast because I don't know how tight this is going to be once we get down in here. Uh, yeah, you can see right here. We need to stay nice and right over. Ooh, that's very close. Do the same over here. That's going to be very close getting out with a trailer if we have to take it out the same way. Which I do believe we do. So let's go ahead and let's spin around right here. Just like this. Actually, wait. I think we can take it out on the other side. Oh, I killed the truck. I did not mean to do that. We'll back up underneath it and hook up. Just like that, we are hooked up. I think we go out straight. I don't think we go out to the left. So let's just make our way out now. I think that's... I don't know if this is the end of the line or what. Oh, no, there is a whole section here. Alright. And there we go. Just like that. Awesome. So that took us one minute and 37 seconds. That one's probably one we could get a really good time on. Probably do some sick drifts in the Scania, getting it spun around to back up to the trailer or something. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. So let's jump into the next one. All right. So this one requires us to back out of a parking lot, which we're going to go ahead and do. And if you haven't already seen the other two episodes, you will find a card in the top right hand corner, hopefully right now, that will give you a link to the playlist. Or you can wait till the end of the episode and you should see it there as well. We're going to go ahead and take it nice and slow. This one seems to be a really tough corner. Obviously, it does give me a preview of what I have to do, but it doesn't really help because it's completely different once you get in the truck. But this is a really sharp corner. Which I don't think I'm going to make. I'm going to hit that car before I do anything. a blind corner too so I can't actually see where my trailer is doesn't really help my case if I'm honest yep and then I hit something all right well this one's gonna be a fun one so let's start over all right well I can't seem to figure out how to how the hell to get this one this one's actually like properly screwing me somehow so we're gonna try a different approach this time I'm going to try and come wide this time. That sounds bad, but that's what I'm doing. Not not in that way, obviously. Good lord. All right. Try not to Volvo. I 
I did just scrape the front of the truck a little bit. That's okay. I'm gonna readjust. I'm gonna hit that bucket loader thing. Not bucket loader, backhoe. This is ridiculous, dude. All right, we have plenty of room now, hopefully, to readjust right over. I wanna see the speed runs of this thing because it must be insanity, honestly. There we go, that's better. Now, I should be able to turn in here and turn around. Hopefully. So we're going to try that now. Okay, don't hit that bucket loader or excavator. Make sure I hit that backhoe. And then we'll come out this way. I hit the fence. I hate myself. This is ridiculous. Okay, this one's actually, like, getting me today. I am definitely not on my A game, I will say that. But I am clearly <laughs> not as good as I like to think I am, huh? This is humbling, to say the least. What did I hit that time? Oh, sh shit. Bro. I don't even know what I hit. This is, like, next level just ridiculous. What am I... Okay, that time I know for sure I hit the gate barrier. I'm gonna hit that truck. That was close. Alright, there's the finish line so we can be done with this one. Good lord. Oh man, that was tough. Alright, well, we hit three three things because we got minus 300 points. So, 10 out of 10, that was uh, horrible. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, well, we have a yacht on the back of this trailer to get down to the sea. Why it's on a flatbed, I have no idea. But we will get it there, hopefully nice and safe. Nice and careful. I think we gotta watch height on this one, so we're gonna stick in the middle of this bridge. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. We're good. Alright. Yeah, and I will say this too, so this episode and the one before it are recorded back to back. It's not something I normally do, but I'm trying to get ahead on episodes a little bit so I can get a little bit of a better upload schedule out. So I will talk about that maybe in another video. I don't really want to talk about it in this one. I really would like to focus. Because this is ridiculous. Right here. We'll make sure we don't hit these barriers. Nice and easy on the brake. 
long as you're easy on the brakes, seems fine. And there we go, just like that. All right, not bad, 138.49. Obviously, all of these could be better, but I am happy with that one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we need to drive down this mountain road to find a place to rest. So we will do that, and we will do that nice and carefully. I am going to try and pick up the pace. That's the other thing, too. I've been trying to pick up the pace a little bit more, just because I can. Not really for any particular reason other than that. We'll just try and keep it between the lines as we go down the mountain. Easy on the brakes. Obviously, this being a paved road, it's a little nicer. Looks like we've got some tight construction here. So we'll move over to the side so we can maneuver around it. Hopefully. Whoop. I would love to see this turn into a racing game or something. That'd be hilarious. Kind of drive it like it's a race, race truck. <laughs> just like that i got confused last second because i didn't know whether we were going to the right or whether we were turning in there but look at that 20289 feels good let's move on to the next one all right another construction one of course i think technically if i wanted to i could go to the left there but i'm going to stay on this right side a little easier this way don't want to damage our cargo. I will say this, the one thing is, I don't think we've had any of these with traffic on them. Which has been nice, if I'm honest. Uh, alright. Yep, this one's gonna be fun. Gonna hit the truck. Holy crap, this one's tight. Oh, there's no way I'm making that. No, there's no way. All right, well, I I want to try this one again because I feel like I could have made that corner, so we're going to restart. All right, so we're going to make our way back down there. We're going to try that one again because I feel like I could actually maybe go over a little bit further. Oop, see on the brakes, easy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come all the way over to this side, and then we're going to turn in as hard as we can, build the truck, Oops. Watch the mirror. I'm going to stay as close to this fence as I possibly can. I still don't think I'm going to make it. I think it's so damn close that I have to use every possible inch. I'm going to hit stuff. Yep. That's okay. We hit stuff. There's nothing I can do. Obviously, I think if I did it just, just right, that I'd be fine, but that is ridiculously tight. 
We'll watch this corner as well. Watch the bucket on that thing. Damn. Okay, this one's definitely one of the toughest ones yet, too. My goodness. Alright, well that one is done. Just like that. Alright, well, we hit one thing, so I thought I heard multiple noises. Maybe it's only like 50 points per thing now or something, I don't know. But, could have definitely done better. That's okay, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so, power plant piece that needs to get fixed, so we're going to take it out of the power plant. Um, I don't know where I'm going exactly. It is wide, so I gotta be careful about that. Um, I assume we're going through here. Is this like a shortcut? I'm gonna hit that. Oh, we didn't hit it. I don't know how I didn't. What did I hit? Oh, the front of the trailer. Jeez, I am... Yeah, I'm gonna hit that too. I'm having a day today. I can't seem to drive this at all today. Not good. And that's the end of that one. Oof. Yeah, three things. I definitely could be doing better. I don't know what's happening. That is, um... That is a rather interesting looking generator part. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Well, nevertheless, yeah, I could definitely be doing better. The last episode, too, same issue. So, there's definitely days where I'm more confident and better in my driving, and days where I'm just not as confident, I just don't feel good. Part of it's that I'm trying to rush a little bit, which, not great. Like, I want to try and get these done at a better pace, but that's okay. We'll move on to the next one. Alright, so, we have to reverse out of here. And then make our way down to a set. I'm going to hit the trailer already. Take it nice and easy this way. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that was already there. I clearly pay attention to the intro part. Holy cow, this is insane. Okay. Another crazy, uh, intensive one. Try and take it easy. Apparently I'm not allowed to damage the cargo this time, so... There's that. I'll just take it nice and slow. Low and steady wins the race, even though... One of the biggest things they scream at you about in this game is time delay, time delay. It's how you get into an accident. It's almost like this game is designed to put pressure on you, as well as then give you challenges with that added pressure, almost. If that makes any sense. Come right over to the left. I killed it. I think I'm going to hit something right here. Yep. Rip. Definitely heard three. 
There's no way I think I could have made that without going on the grass, but I don't like that. Oh, four things. So we hit four things. Eh, not great. 216 could definitely do better. But that was our last challenge, I do believe. So let's go take a look at what we've done so far. All right, well, yeah, so that was our last one. Obviously, rock concert. I cannot do one video. If you missed that, that was in the first episode. But the highest level I am in this whole thing is 16 on the leaderboards on Road of Death. This is the only one that I've spent time in off screen to try and get a better time. And hopefully, like I've said, at some point, I will stream this on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash lawnhollergmg to try and build up our time. But for right now, just don't have time for that. I don't know, obviously, when this episode's coming out exactly, so that might have changed by now. But yeah, we have a lot of improvement to do. I'm not perfect. You get to see it here firsthand, kind of the challenges, but how I tackle them. If I took it slow, like properly slow, and I wasn't trying to squeeze this into an episode or something, probably could have done a little bit better. Obviously, the distraction of talking and stuff like that, that doesn't help either, but still, I should still be able to do it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, do consider leaving a like and or subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.